So for today, we're going to be looking at the Unyielding Favor. This is the armor for Season of the Defiance, specifically the activity armor. And man, dude, like, let me tell you, this armor, I have a lot of things to say about this armor. So uh, if, if you guys are new, welcome. We usually cover Destiny 2 fashion, but we also cover other things as well. But we're going to be looking at how the armor looks. I'll give you my personal thoughts about the armor each piece, each piece. And we'll also be looking at how it shaders. This is also is a new format because at the end of the video, when I do my outro, I will still have the armor in different shaders. So that way you guys can see how it shaders without me talking over it. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys think about the armor, because I think this armor is probably the most unique armor we've seen in Destiny 2 in quite a bit to the point where I actually thought this was the raid armor. So that really shows just how much they've upped their game when it comes to these seasonal armor pieces, because a lot of the seasonal armor pieces, specifically the activity armors, have always just been like a watered down version of the season ornament armor. So it's a little wild. I'll give you a quick example. Like Season of the Undying specifically was basically like this overgrown like set where I had like grass and shit coming out. And then the actual ornament was that whole set, but better. So it really makes me happy that they've upped their game because this armor and the ornament armor are completely different. Like they're super different. So I like this. I like this a lot. Um, it's not like this is the first time they're doing it. It's just this is the first time that it's just been this different aside from maybe another season that I'm not thinking of. So let me know what you guys think. Are you guys going to be rocking this? And let's just get into it. So the Unyielding Favor is such a wild armor set. Like, first and foremost, I thought this was a raid armor. I was legitimately like, yo, this is the raid armor. It looks super cool. And when we got it as the season armor, I was like, yo, what? It's just so unique. And I've said this before that unique pieces could be either a good thing or a bad thing. And let me explain why. It could be either be a good thing because it'll make your set look even more different. And when I say your set, I specifically mean like your individual set that you've been like crafting forever or just started. Um, it could either make it look really, really, really good or it could make it look really fucking weird because so many pieces are just so like dialed into this whole set that if you use it with other pieces, it's just going to look weird. And I think this set has that a little bit, uh, specifically with like certain pieces. Like I know for sure the arms for the hunter and even to some extent the boots just, I am having such a trouble, like actually making them into a, a different set for the Titans. It's probably going to be the arms as well. And then maybe the boots, I can see myself using the boots in other sets, but it's just going to be really rough. And then for the warlock, um, I think personally, if you don't combine the arms and the bond, it's going to look weird specifically for the bond. It'll look weird even for the arms because the bond and the arms just look really good together. Uh, but other than that, I think everything else is like very suitable for everything else. So let's look at the hunter first hunter. I think the cloak looks super dope. I've seen some people make some super cool sets with it. And the helmet is very usable, very, very serviceable. You can definitely use it in another pieces. Uh, quick shout out to whoever put a star on the right side of the actual helmet. Uh, why fucking do that? Uh, just, I don't want to talk about it, but it's kind of annoying. Just, I get it. I hate it. I fucking hate it. Uh, chess piece, super dope. I really, really like it. I've actually made a set with the chess piece already. The boots, I like it as well, but I will say, and this is like not a, it's not me critiquing that a guy is wearing heels. It's more so I just never liked seeing heels in a combat situation because it makes no fucking sense. Just wear regular shoes and or boots, which is what that Titan has. Titan has super dope boots and you could have given that us to us and the warlocks as well, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I think the hunter set looks really cool. Uh, specifically, let me let me actually showcase this. I think the arms the actual like fist of the arms looks so cool. Everything else in the arms, like it's fine. Um, definitely not my favorite piece from the whole set. I think it's the worst piece. If I'm being quite honest, the Titan best helmet in the game right now, for me, at least like that helmet is so dope. And it's actually funny because Crips actually made a video on the helmet and used the chest piece that I was thinking about using 
which just goes to show uh, either great minds think alike or I don't I don't know. But it made me laugh because that was the chess piece I was going to use. I'm still going to use it because I think the chess piece looks amazing with it. But yeah, it just kind of made me laugh. Arms, I think, are the worst piece from this whole set, specifically the right arm. Kind of reminds me of a fruit in, that I used to eat in Honduras. I don't remember what it's called. If I have a picture of it, I'll have it up right now. But it immediately reminded me of that fruit. And it just also is asymmetrical as fuck. So I'm just kind of probably going to ignore the arms, if I'm being quite honest. Chess piece, super dope. Probably going to use it in a set. The boots, I think, are the coolest piece from this whole set. I think the helmet is. But the boots, I think, is like just individually wow so many things happening so many pieces and unfortunately i just don't see myself using it in a in an actual set we'll see i'm still trying but it's just so unique that it, i'm having a rough time combining it with something that it looks like oh yeah i can see these, these two being together so uh mark i actually think is really cool and i will be using it in a set as well which is weird because i usually don't use marks but i do think the mark is really cool Warlocks, I think the helmet, chest piece, boots, um, I think everything is super dope. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, chest piece, I used it in a set already and it looks fucking cool. The helmet is super dope if you want to go for like, almost like a, like a, like a vampire slash like Victorian look. Cause like the engravings look super cool. The arms and the bond, I definitely think you have to combine together just because, well, no yeah i think you just have to combine it together if not it just looks out of place especially the bond and then the boots are super dope as well which i will be using in a, in a set as well so i think a lot of these pieces are super dope i think the one that ate the best is probably the warlock just because the warlock has so many pieces that i'm like i use all these pieces in individual pieces but as a whole i think the mm, i think the warlock still wins to be quite honest like the hunter looks cool don't get me wrong i think what it is i think it's the arms that just kind of like detract from everything else if i'm being honest the titans i think look super dope i think like if they, if they didn't get that helmet i would probably say they, they're the worst ones Be but because they got the helmet i just can't say they're the worst i don't think there is a worst i think everyone ate well so yeah let me know what you guys think about the armor as for how it shaders so as for how it shaders i didn't mention this because it's kind of hard to see the actual glow but there is a lot of glow in this set so anything that you see that has lines like specifically the chest piece for the hunters and the cloak itself uh there's just going to be like lines of glow going up and then for the titans the actual helmet the inside of that hood actually glows which is really cool and the boots also glow i think the chest piece also glows as well and then for the warlocks the lines in the middle glow as well the reason I'm explaining this now is because it's much easier to see it with the Ancient Wisdom. Granted, it's not that hard to see it in the base look of it, but I wanted to showcase it with an actual color. So that's why I mention it now. Uh, as for our shaders, uh, you guys will see that the Hunter has damn near no armor piece. All of it is pure cloth, which is either a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how you view it. I think it's pretty cool. The only armor that the Hunter has is only on the arm. So that's pretty cool. The Titan, uh, pretty much almost everything is armored. The helmet has some armor. The arms have armor specifically on the left side. And then the everything, yeah, everything has armor. I don't know how to explain this. The glow is super cool on it. And the glow on the helmet is super dope as well. And then for the Warlock, it's also varied. Uh, I think it's kind of like in the middle, actually, because surprisingly, Hunter has no armor. You usually never see that it's all it's always like kind of in the middle for hunters that like we have a little bit of cloth but not a lot and i think the warlock is almost purely cloth at that point well just the chest piece at this point echo anger looks really cool with this set as well i really like how it looks on the hunter the titan also looks really really cool with it and the warlock actually you know if it wasn't for the white stripes on the front i would like it a lot more because but because it is white i probably I would probably switch out that red, the red on the side for the white in the middle. If it was switched out like that, I think it would be really cool. But overall, I'm liking a lot of the colors that I'm seeing. As for Abyssinian Gold, I think the boots took it really well for the Hunter and the Warlock. Just because a lot of it is black. If if not, I think the Warlock has the best one just because you don't see a lot of that like brown color that armor has, which is really, really cool. Man, dude, if if the chest piece 
like specifically that little armor piece and the chest piece for the warlocks had actually like it retained black i think that would have been the dopest fucking set but overall i think this the set looks fine uh, i think the i think the titan has the worst looking one so far just because of that uh that brown color i'm not a big fan of it but i'm really liking the colors i'm seeing right now and then last but not least cryptic insignia i love this shader and for good reason it looks really really good it really highlights a lot of the armor specifically for the titan you see a lot of that blue color which is really really dope and even for the warlock as well you really see that so uh it's really cool i really really like this armor set let me know what you guys think in the comments below that's pretty much it i personally will be fucking using a lot of these pieces because it's so so dope but i do understand that a lot of these pieces are very 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 unique and it's going to be hard to like really showcase these in individual sets so i will try my hardest to use each piece but just be aware that some of these pieces are fucking hard so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming up to this point and i'll see you guys later